people look at something like this and they look at the whole thing and they go, oh my God, you know, it's impossible, you'll never get it done. But what it actually is, it's not one great big job, it's a whole series of small jobs. Well, yeah, that's right. And you got to look at it that way, otherwise you'd be so discouraged, you'd just, you'd give up, eh? So. Okay, folks, are we throwing in the towel? Is the Fokker done? Have we failed? Well, not yet. We still might fail, uh, but it is going a lot slower and a lot more logistically different than I thought we would be able to do it. Here is the first 100 episodes of Plane Savers. We never even worked on DTD until episode 101 isn't that funny uh so this right here is all the prep it took to get us to the point where we could start with dtd then we're kind of still in that right now with the dr1 oh i don't want to drop that um right now uh because we're waiting on uh wood uh the wood was supposed to be here in december it is now delayed till the end of february maybe even the beginning of march now so we were delayed for wood Again, these are excuses. I don't want to bore you with excuses, uh, but the actuality is there's not very much to film. As you can see, if we do a quick tour of the fox moth, the fox moth is, is being cleaned up, but really, again, there's been no work done on the fox moth. So a long time viewers are asking, where is Benjamin? Benjamin has decided uh, to work uh, mainly on the C46 with Rod and uh, the fox moth, my father. So. Uh, we had some disagreements. Uh, that really took the steam out of his sails when it comes to the Fox project. I don't want to speak too much for him, um, but he made the decision and I respect his decision. I give him space and let him work on whatever he wants. Uh, but me and you, we got to move forward and figure out how to fix the Fokker. So there seems to be a lot of bad news, but really folks, there's not that much bad news. Uh, the good news, let's go to some good news. Uh, Dan McNiven, Dave Sargent uh, are working on sending us the, the Shaky Jake, uh, the radio for the Fokker. So it is being created right now and being shipped. Uh, we're also working with Culliver Props right now to start working on the brand new prop. So now moving forward, what are we going to do? We're going to be working on the engine, the exhaust, and the mount. Uh, we're also going to be uh, doing some more parts collecting. Uh, lucky enough, Ron Sands Jr. actually sent me a brand new set of plans for the aircraft. Uh, this gets into the carpentry problem. Where are we going to find a carpenter? And folks, I came to the conclusion we're not going to find a carpenter in Yellowknife. So just like DTD, we did a lot of the prep in Red Deer. So I am now thinking about moving all wood related items with the Fokker to Red Deer where we can more efficiently find uh, people to work on the aircraft, both volunteered and paid people to get it done in time. Speaking of time, is it realistically that we can get ready for Oshkosh this year? I would say honestly not. We're gonna probably have to push the Oshkosh date uh, and, but we'll figure out something folks. I always have stuff up my sleeves. So folks, to recap a bit, moving forward, what we're gonna be working on is the frame and engine mounting uh, for the aircraft, for the Fokker here. Uh, the wood is gonna be pushed aside a little bit until I find a proper uh, woodworking person, hopefully maybe even in Red Deer. My father was also mentioning too, he was looking at building uh, some wood stuff in Red Deer because he wants to restore a Norseman. So there we go, there might be another airplane more airplanes than we have time, but that's the fun of it. And you guys have been with us the entire time, uh, and I love showing you this stuff. So what I'm going to be showing you next with the Fokker is the Jacob 755 is going to be arriving, and we're going to be mounting it to the frame. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal because this frame was actually made for the Jacob uh, 755. It's actually on the C of A, C of R. 
Holy smokes, folks, that wind is terrible. As you can see, I got the time lapse over there. Uh, hopefully you join your day. It is beautiful here. We'll be seeing you soon. There's gonna be more Fokker stuff coming, more DC3 stuff coming, more everything coming, folks. I got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. Uh, DC4, CL215s, a whole bunch of stuff. Please join me along with this adventure. I love you all. Whew. Did that work? <laughs> see you guys.